Hello from the Tromso Cathedral. We're standing here because there's Viking lore of King Hakon. Hakon. King Hakon. 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 Back in the day, back in the 1200s, before he put his ships over in Scotland, he moved up north on his Norwegian camp. And what he did was build a church here. He long before he decided to live here, there was a group of people named the Sami. We'll learn more about them in a bit. King Hakon wanted the biggest, the best, all of the land he could capture. So what did he do? He came here and built the church. Now this isn't the original church. It's been rebuilt a bunch because, you know, old stuff from 800 years ago falls apart. Let's have some coffee and go explore the rest of Tromso. Okay, check this out. Now it looks like it's just a mound of grass, right? There's not grass like this anywhere. This is an old fortress wall from King Hakonson. See, whenever he was up here, he built all sorts of stuff to fortify the city. So he built his cathedral and then he built a little fort here, which makes sense because then you can see this massive view of the harbor in front of us. So this is what it used to look like. Like in fact, King Hakon Hakonson may have stayed here. So they built up this massive fort. Then there would have been a surrounding wall, maybe out of wood or stone, and then a couple of houses. And then you could just see all of this stuff over here. Port, port, park. Park your ship in the port. You don't port your ship in the park. Let's go walk where King Hakon Hakonson and his Viking buddies would have walked. Bunk, 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 bunk. Yeah, he had horses. I think this king would have a ah, reindeer. He would have tied his Viking reindeer to the tree and then walked over. Oh, I miss the temperate climate of Bergen. Maybe there's much more beyond these seas. Over in Scotland, men, rally up. We must go attack the Hebrides. I don't know if you called them that, but you know, let's go with it. To the ships, men. Let's go to Lords. Would I make a good Viking King Hakon, Hakon Center recreation? I think so. Like, I'm in, sign me up. We have the 69th parallel up here in Tromso. And it's very similar to what we see in Iceland with a lot of kind of tropical looking plants, deciduous trees, conifers, but, you know, still above the Arctic Circle. I mean, just look at this little purple guy. Half of him is green and half of him is purple. There's so many cool new plants up here. I love it. Okay, now if you know what these feather plants are, like this, they just have these feathers on them. Let me know, because I see them everywhere and they're beautiful. It just looks like a bird got stuck in a bush. Okay, now one of the best places to learn information is in a museum. And we're gonna go take a look at this museum. But look what I found. All sorts of Arctic flowers. What? These guys. Bunka, bunka, bunka. Oh, look at these starfishes. Guys, this is beautiful. I think we should see if there's like a botanic garden or something with more flowers like this. Right? I didn't even know this stuff existed. The ASMR Museum. One thing I didn't realize until I came here was how tiny reindeers are. Why do we think the Santa Claus rode a reindeer? It's basically about as big as a sheep really big pregnant sheep. Sami people were the original inhabitants, the first nations of this whole area in Norway. In fact, they inhabited like the top parts of Norway and Sweden and Finland and Russia. And they were known for hunting and trapping. They lived off the land, it was beautiful land. And here we have a recreation on like what it would be like to live in one of the houses. Here's another recreation. So in here, on the middle, you would have like the entire heat bed of rocks and fire and coal to heat up the entire cabin and furs laying on the floor below to keep you off of the icy, icy floor. Ice, ice, baby. Okay, we've entered a very beautiful cathedral. 
This is all from a stock in Norway. I think I should do a History Channel ASMR. Look at that. Like a little award stand. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, look at this. In here, we have even more sculptures. The oldest ones we have are these guys from the 1400s. So whenever King Hakon built his original cathedral, he probably would have put some similar sculptures in that cathedral. I mean, which to be fair, if you were living here, if you were a Sami person, it probably would have been really weird to go from just like your normal chill life to having all of these crazy and ornate sculptures and paintings and drawings of like a man dying and just like being stabbed randomly put up in your in your village. So yeah, that would have been weird. This museum is one of the coolest museums that I've been in. Okay, now we're walking up to a little folk museum to show you how Norwegian people in Tromso used to live with little teeny tiny houses. Check it out. I see the house I want. Come on. We're gonna look inside. So I just cleaned my shoes. It appears like I did that prematurely. What is inside? And it looks like it's being reconstructed inside. So yeah, we're not going inside. So these cabins are super, super small because you had to keep in heat in the winter. Hello. Ooh, this one looks like we could go inside. I mean, it's like open for tourism, except for today, because today is not the day this museum's opened. Ooh, 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 we have a dancing room. So the floor is painted red. And it looks like this is where they would have probably had some food because there are some plates on the wall and there's a trapdoor storage. Which trapdoor storage would have gone leading down here underneath the house. And the reason they built house on stilts is that permafrost is squishy and you have to dig a little bit deep to put elevate the house to put it on pylons. So then the house doesn't like fall into the ground whenever the permafrost melts. This is a really good example of that. Okay, so I'm just taking a walk in the forest. Because it's rainy and it's like less rainy in the forest than it is here. And I just ran across the most creepy thing ever. And I love it. Look at this. Usually guys, we explore abandoned buildings. And today this is like an abandoned playground with the giant poison mushroom on the floor. Like that's the size of my hand. Mushroom. That's massive. And this beautiful swing set. That's so weird. Why is it just out here in the middle of the forest? Weird. Okay, I'm gonna continue my walk and see what I can find. Okay, so for the time being, there's not rain. Well, a lot of it anyway. So we're gonna walk along this whole seacoast and see what's here. Okay, this is pretty cool. So in front of us, we see a frozen statue of one of the frozen explorers from Norway of the Arctic region, Mr. Roald Amusetten. Pretty sure I butchered his name. The other cool thing here is that we have harpoon guns. Now these are the things that they would shoot seals and whales with. And I don't like guns, but I like engineering. And look at this thing. Like this had to penetrate a whale that was huge. Like three or four tons big, maybe huge. Bunk, 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 bunk. Maybe these were more for like seals or for really big fish. No, probably seals. I think you would use a ch ch for a big fish. Like now that is for a big boat. And this could be for me, cause I'm hungry. And I forgot that the grocery stores don't open on Sunday. Oopsie. Let's enter the Polar Museum and look, we have study material. <gasps> we saw this in Lars again. So this part of the museum is recognizing 
all of the trapping. Oh, hola. All of the trapping that happened up in Svalbard, where it's like the very northern settlement, almost at the 80th parallel. Okay, so as people were better at exploring the Nordics, they understood they needed icebreakers, something to go and chop up a bunch of the ice. So smaller ships that were easier and more economical to sell could sail. This is a recreation of one of them, a tiny little guy. And this is how it'll look like inside. Someone playing cards by himself. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this whole area is about like killing animals, which you kind of have to do if you're gonna explore the Nordics. But there's also some really cool hidden, like radio signals in here. Old radio stuff. How cool is that? What's in here? Hola. Book. Still works. I had to test it. Very cool. It's like an old shipyard. So you would like pull your ship up here on these trains. You'd fix the ship here. Book. And then when it's done, like this bridge wouldn't be here, but you would just this is a really cool little area. You can tell it's newer built, but they've tried to keep some of the, the older structures around. Okay, look at these. They're really pretty murals on the side of this building. We have one celebrating the evening, and then one celebrating the eternal daylight sun with some whales and some ship. That's pretty cool. So I had this great idea. Go to the grocery store, go get some snacks and have food. It's Sunday, grocery stores are mostly closed, but I found one that was open. It's a little bit expensive because you're paying for a grocery store being open on a Sunday. But then I also saw that there's a garden that's open 24 seven. And I really enjoyed the flowers we saw yesterday. So now I'm trying to find this hidden garden with Arctic flowers. Like we're at the 69th parallel right now. And so seeing like all of this stuff that's around here, it's so different. Like we don't have a lot of this stuff below the Arctic Circle. The other thing that I'm gonna highlight is that we're losing like 10 to 15 minutes of daylight every day. Wait, every night. So like half an hour of daylight every day, it's getting dark so fast. Like I have never seen it change like this before. Let's go try to find this hidden botanic gardens. It's not hidden. It's just, I don't know where it is. Okay, this was way easier to find than I thought. Look at what we found already. A pretty, and these little tiny guys. You're pretty too. Okay, now our first stop is gonna be to find a bench. There's one there, but I kinda wanna get more in this garden area to find a place to eat. Okay, now we're talking. Check how cute this is. Like you can just go for a walk and then there's these chairs where you can just sit and have a little food. Okay. Let's explore this little garden. So down here, all of these are different, different species of, here for example, we see a succulent both out of Germany and Spain. Now the reason we have so much stuff here is the sea was gonna grow in the Arctic. This whole garden is part of the Tromso University campus. And Tromso, being a town of about 80,000 people, there's a huge university here that does a lot of scientific uh, degrees and studies and a lot of PhD students here studying stuff. And so what they're doing is planting plants. You can see some of the students over here in the distance. And they're studying to see how they behave in Arctic climates, especially as global warming is happening, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, I see it pretty. Oh, this is it. Maybe? No, that's Edelweiss. I'm gonna find feather plant. I know they're gonna have feather plant. Okay, but I see this nice little pretty flower over here. So we're gonna go see what this is. What are you? 
<gasps> Look, it's experiment flower. Wow, that's really pretty. It's like light blue purpley. Look at all the stuff that can grow up here. You can hear probably the water behind us. I see these orange pokies. And we're gonna see what they are. It kind of looks like a lily, is it? Lilies in the UK seem to look different than this though. Look how pretty that is. Oh yeah, there's a cruise ship over there. Cruises come into town apparently. There's even more of them over here. These are kind of pretty. It's like a mix between white and orange. I just found something else. Look at this. Look how pretty these are. I wonder if we could go on a free trip. Okay, so I was looking at the map. Woo, stepped in a puddle. And it looked like there was this pointy that walked out into the sea. And in fact, it's taken me quite a long time to get to this pointy. But, guys, no tourists. Check out this, the water is so teal. And the air is fresh. And it's off and on raining today. So that's fun. So we're gonna walk to the end of this dock. Speedy walk. Wait, is that a jellyfish? Like a really big jellyfish? The other day when I was taking the bus, I saw this woman with this massive bucket of crabs. So there's these crabs around here that you can just like go and pick up, I guess. And she definitely was gonna make some sort of delicious meal. Unfortunately, I was not invited, but I find it really cool. You can just go pick up crabs from somewhere, hop on the bus, get off on a couple of stops, and you're like, hey, I just picked crabs for dinner. It's beautiful how it's like, rusted with the sea walls. So over here we have like open sea. Okay, open fjord, open firth. And then in here we have a much more calmed bay. There's like a little waiting area and some coffee pots. Oh, we can go around the other way. Ooh, this would be pretty. Let's go up here. Isn't that like someone from like, I don't know, some king and queen probably? Okay, but well, we're going up here. How beautiful is this? Oh, maybe we can see. Is there a light in here? No, it's just like a, uh, Lots of tables where you could bring a meal and eat. Maybe actually you could rent this place out if you were having like a yacht party. And so you would bring your friends up here, you'd eat, you'd stare at this beautiful sea in the town. You'd be like this fancy oligarch staring at the plebeian town. I have my own yacht club. I'm gonna have a seat right here. Awesome. Okay, check this out behind me. We have like super bright sunny and then in the foreground, dark, mysterious ocean, which is perfect for keeping the wind out of my ears and listening to a podcast. It's quite scary because every time a car drives by, it removes, which is probably good, a stable bridge is gonna fall over. But there's all of these little uh, joints throughout, and that's where it moves the most. So we're sitting here at the 
We're standing, we're standing. It's been a long, long trip and we still have more to go. We're standing here at the Arctic Cathedral. It's pretty tall and the architecture is pretty awesome. So it's developed like a little squishy block. So if the world were ever to squish in half, it would just be a tiny little piece, a slice. I thought it was really appropriate that we end our Tromso adventure here in front of the cathedral. That definitely did not build, but it's really cool anyway. So this was built in the 1960s and you can tour inside it and it's, yeah, wooden and pretty inside it. And it looks like there's an educational class ongoing inside. That's Tromso, the world's most northern city. That's a huge city of nearly 100,000 people. Like, subscribe, and I think it's time to start heading south because it's getting dark up here and I haven't been to Oslo yet. Let's go there. Ciao. Do you see it? What are these? I think we should spank the butt. Butthead spank butt. I think this guy wants a kiss. Oh, my hat's too big. And then a baby, we should squeeze the baby's cheeks. 